Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, we, Sense Islam, have launched a new channel, Sense Quran TV, in an effort to bring you closer to the Word of Allah. With professional voices, we intend to bring to you Quranic recitations in a manner that will make you admire the beauty of the Quran even further. Insha'Allah, subscribe to Sense Quran TV. Link is in the description box below. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Muhammad bin Salman, is known as a ruler with a modern edge. Since the beginning of his rule in Saudi Arabia, the land has seen music concerts being held. Halloween being celebrated, alcohol being permitted for diplomats, and so many more of these steps being taken, which otherwise no one would have thought only a decade ago that they would take place in Saudi Arabia. Now, Muhammad bin Salman has stepped once again to show that he intends to bring much more change to the existing laws of the nation. In a recent move, Muhammad bin Salman ordered just prior to Ramadan, that no more iftar will be organized within the premises of the mosque anymore. Let's shift our focus to Saudi Arabia where Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has announced a ban of iftar in mosques ahead of the holy month of Ramadan. The Ministry of Islamic Affairs in Saudi Arabia declared on February 21 on their official X page that iftar events should not be held inside mosques due to concerns about hygiene. Moezins and Imams should designate a suitable location for iftar in the mosque courtyards. The warning further stated that no makeshift tents or rooms should be constructed for this purpose. The government further emphasized that financial contributions for iftar initiatives for individuals who are fasting should not be collected by mosque Imams and Moezins. So the reason that is being put forward by the Saudi Arabian authorities is that organizing iftar leads to unclean environments inside the mosque and that is undesirable and unacceptable. In mosques, a person is certainly much more conscious of not wasting food and litter than in music concerts and sports stadiums. It is true that one should be careful not to waste unnecessary food and make the places of worship look dirty and untidy. But the step to ban it altogether is not worth appreciating. Organizing iftar in neighborhoods and mosques gives a sense of belonging and love. The heart of a believer wants to pray together, fast together and also break fast together. Believers residing in non-Muslim nations long for such opportunities and they really hope to break their fast in mosques with fellow believers. Ramadan is the time of year when every believer should help and encourage other believers in every act of worship possible. It is also an act of worship to cook and eat iftar and suhoor together, serve each other and praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for these moments of life, especially within mosques. It is also true that many of those who are fasting are of the opinion that the cleaning of a mosque or even a house is not their responsibility but rather the responsibility of the cleaner or maid which is totally wrong. Maintaining a clean environment and keeping oneself clean is a crucial part of a Muslim's attitude. And therefore, enjoining in cleaning up after any meal, not only having iftar, is a responsibility that falls upon everyone that was on the table, not only for wives, maids or cleaners. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Cleanliness is half of faith. The order announced by Crown Prince Muhammad Salman may surely dishearten many, but if the intention is truly to avoid an unhygienic environment, then following this may bore some fruit. And after the application of this rule on mosques, the Saudi authorities should also ponder its application to music concerts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Muslim Ummah. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.